guys, Steve Weber here, and today I'm going to be showing you the new PLA Plus 3D printer filament from eSun. And there we go. Now this stuff is supposed to be uh, as easy to print as PLA, as biodegradable, as uh, non-warping. Uh, but with the strength of ABS or even even stronger than ABS. So being eSun, you've got these nice clear spools so you always know how much you got left. Can't beat that. Uh, and next I'm going to try printing it and doing a strength test and see how it compares to the other filaments. I've got some ordinary, uh, regular run-of-the-mill PLA filament uh, fluorescent orange, and I'm printing out a copy of uh, Mojinaire 3D Creations uh, strength test model from Thingiverse. I'm going to print another one with the exact same settings out of the eSun PLA Plus that I've got here, and we're going to see how the two compare in a head-to-head -head test. Alright, for the first test here we've got regular PLA and I'm going to put a book on top of it to create a nice stable surface like that and then I'm going to add these weights one at a time until it breaks. These are 10 pound weights so here goes the first one Nice and stable there. It's ten pounds. Okay, that's 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds, plus one kilogram. Here's a second kilogram on top. It's now 40 pounds and two kilograms, plus a book. Alright, here's the PLA Plus, and put my book on here, there's 10 pounds, Kilogram. And there goes another kilogram, so this would be 40 pounds plus 2 kilograms. Oh! And that's it. Well, in this test, the PLA Plus did not perform quite as well as the ordinary PLA. But I suspect it may have been due to my hastiness to stack a lot of weight on top of it quickly, and I may not have had it perfectly level and everything. Okay, I'm going to do another strength test. Um, this is just two 3mm rectangles um, by 100mm. That I printed out uh, from the regular PLA and the PLA Plus and I'm just gonna apply weight onto the center see how much weight they hold before they break and I think this test will be a lot more straightforward a lot more 
uh, probably reliable than the last one, although it may not be as much fun, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to try to space these the exact same distance apart for each test, because uh, I don't want that affecting the results. So here we go. I'm going to start with the regular PLA, and what I'm going to do is put this spool in the middle to apply all the pressure right there. And start out with one kilogram on top. I've now got two kilograms balancing on there. Alright, here is a third kilogram. Okay, there's three kilograms on top of there. All right, here comes the fourth kilogram. And it's holding. It's still barely holding. All right, I'm going to go on. I've taken off all but one kilogram, and I'm going to put a 10-pound weight on top. Yep, there it goes. And ten pounds plus one kilogram did it. I'm going to try. The PLA Plus from eSun. Put that there. Start out with kilogram on top of here. Okay, here comes four kilograms on top here. That is holding okay. This is going to be <clears throat> one kilogram plus a ten pound weight. It's sort of holding. Nope. Okay, looking at these uh, parts after the tests here. You know, it took about the same amount of weight for both of them to fail. It was one kilogram plus ten pounds. The regular PLA one is is permanently deformed, uh, and if you can see that layers have delaminated a little bit there. Uh, the PLA plus is still a little bit deformed, but doesn't seem to be hurt quite as bad and can almost straighten back out. Let's see if that will work with this one. No. <clears throat> I didn't have the camera rolling unfortunately, but um, here's what happened when I bent each piece all the way back as far as I could. This is the PLA Plus, and it takes a ton of force, but it just bends all the way back. And this is the regular PLA, and it snapped in half violently, and uh, that's what became of it. Since receiving this filament, I've printed a couple of uh, larger objects here. One of them is this uh, piggy bank from Thingiverse uh, by MakerBot. And uh, this came out really nice, 
very solid. You would definitely need a hammer to crack this piggy bank open. Another object I've printed is this uh, random crystal based on the random crystal generator uh, by Fergerez on Thingiverse and it came out really awesome the way it shimmers in the light. It, I actually printed this without any infill. Uh, it's just a super thin, lightweight uh, model, and yet it's amazingly strong. Uh, very impressive and very cool looking. Now that I've had a chance to play with this uh, PLA Plus and see what it can do, I've decided to use it for uh, the, what they call the trucks on this new uh, Delta Type 3D printer that I'm building. Uh, the trucks are the part that moves up and down these towers. Uh, this is 1 inch aluminum uh, 8020 extrusions. They have to be really solid, really stable, and I think this uh, PLA Plus is uh, the material to use to print them. Um, if you're interested in following along as I build this printer, uh, please check out my blog and uh, follow along on there. I'll post the um, link uh, below the video. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching.